All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome back to another episode of Catching with Craig. As you can see, we're at a unusual launch here. I'm actually not familiar with this place because I've never actually been here. Wanted to lock my truck real quick. Can't remember if I did or not. I assume I always do. But as you can see, Winston is on the lake with us today. There he is, beautiful boy. Uh, just weekends for the boys, guys. Um, come out here. We are on Skinny Atlas, but I launched at the South Launch. Um, this is a Scott boat launch, I think it's called. It's like five dollars, but it saved me like I don't know, 25 minutes of driving time. And I'm assuming the south end of this lake is going to be a little bit cooler. Now, um, last video we saw, we were on Oneida. The fish were spawning, and then this or the following weekend after that, it was, um, hmm, was it the following weekend? It was, or yesterday, Friday, Friday, two days ago, sorry. I had to think in my head. Uh, two days ago, <clears throat> there was, the water temperature on Oneida was 66, and it was 57 last weekend. So today is Sunday, it's like the 22nd or 23rd of May, and we are on Skinny Atlas on the south end of the lake, launching out of here. I'm not familiar with this launch, so I'm not sure. There are some pontoon boats, so I assume that I can I can idle out of here, but I'm not 100% sure on it, so I'm kind of just trolling right now. I'm going to continue to troll and put my fish finders in, and then I guess we will see what's going on here. I'm hoping the south end of the lake, I know it is deeper, and it's steeper transitions on the side, so I'm hoping that this water temperature will be a bit cooler, and these fish might still be pre-spawn or uh, spawning, hopefully. So, I guess we'll just see and take it from there. Stay tuned. We haven't even made it out of the outlet, guys, and something was just crushing bait on the shore here. Um, I'm not 100% sure what it was, but I can only assume it was a bass. I don't know if I'll be able to get it up there. Oh my gosh. First cast, I missed it. Hmm. Well, that's disappointing. Also, it is so shallow. It's impressive I'm not beached right here, to be honest. I didn't expect to get caught or bite that early. And not on top water. Very weird, very, very weird. Okay, let's see if we can get out of here without destroying. Oh my God, he missed again. guys so I don't really know even the first thing about this lake um, really I fished it in the fall with my mom last season but on the north end and on the south end down here I am seeing hundreds of catfish and like that's not an exaggeration I mean they're everywhere and they're like I, I guess maybe they're brown bullheads they look like they got that big fat head um, hard to tell from here but I do know, because I'm in, you know, I was in 10 feet of water looking down originally. I guess I probably should put my sonar back on now that I am out here fishing for a little bit. Um, just very weird. I've never seen so many bullheads before on the, like the idol out here. Now this lake is great because you can see straight down to the bottom in like 15, 16, 17 feet of water, I think. So it's like really good in that regard, but I'm just seeing so many bullheads. And weirdly enough, I also saw one completely bit in half, which I thought was weird too. 
because I don't know what's in here that would be eating them. And I mean, it was not it was like a decent sized one. So I don't know what's in here that would be eating them like that. I, I mean, I can only assume that a muskie would do that, but I don't know that they're in here. I, I don't want to say they're not, but I don't, I didn't think they were. I guess it could be, I don't know. But anyway, um, I am just looking around, seeing if there's any bed fishing to be had or any fish that are on beds. There's a bullhead right there. I know you guys aren't gonna be able to see it, but just very weird. I've never seen anything like it before. There are so many of them. Um, I haven't seen any bass yet, just bullheads. And then one big fish I assume was a carp. Uh, I only caught the tail end of it. It was hard to see, unfortunately, because I was idling, but uh, there goes another boat running now. I have no idea out here. I do know that it is so clear that they can see a jerk bait for, uh, I'm gonna say 20 feet. Here's a bullhead right here, I'm pretty sure of it. I don't think he'll eat that, nope. Okay, tech. he just left. Straight up left, had no interest. Weird. Uh, I know they'll be able to see a jerk bait for a while, so I might throw that. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I also don't know this section of the lake at all. So on the map, it said it was 25 feet, but it doesn't look like there's a nice transition here like I thought there'd be. If anybody knows more about this lake, please, by all means, give me a lesson here. Is this lake just overrun with bullhead in the south end? Because there's one, two. I see two more now. Very weird. I, I, maybe they're just spawning. Uh, they keep flashing their bellies, too. I don't know if that's a bullhead spawning thing. I assume it probably is. Yeah, they don't even want anything to do with it. Very weird. Oh, here's a whole drum. You're okay, bud. Right here. Good boy. So we ran down the leak a little bit to uh, what I believe is called Three Mile Point or Three Mile something or other. Three Mile, I don't know, Three Mile something. Anyway, um, I uh, again have no idea what I'm doing. Just trying to find some fish. I have a drop shot tied on here and it's in black. I don't want black, so I am going to search through my bag of goodies for if I can find it. Hopefully, there we are. This is called brown back. It's the Berkeley flatworm maxent in brown back. Brown, yeah, brown back. Cool. Um, don't know if it'll work, but I'm gonna give it a try. Can't do anything worse than nothing so far. So, this point is so deep that I blew off the bank and I'm in like 150 feet of water, I think. shot and the Berkeley flatworm here 138 feet that's not where I want to fish 
There's like some weird uh, algae pile up here, or er, uh, pollen pile up here. All right, guys, sorry. I know it's been a little bit since I've spoken to you. You can see the sun's up now. Um, finally got one smally little guy to bite here, which is not bad, but it just took forever. He took the little uh, drop shot, the flatworm and the brown, brown back, but he is tiny. Why are you licking your lips, Winston? It's a fishy. What do you think? What do you think? Nothing? You don't think anything? Okay. All right. All right, guys. We're going to let this little guy back. We'll chuck him over here. Whoop. Let's see if we can get any more. Maybe that's something. He was out in like 17, I think, which isn't too terrible. And like I said, he took the uh, the drop shot in the brown gill with the Berkeley Maxent flatworm. Very popular bait. Or brown, brown back, sorry. But still, very popular bait. All right guys, well that's the end of this video. Um, I'm sorry that it was kind of like a crummy video, but the weather is just not playing out right and I'm not really 100% sure on what to do on skinny on the south end. I was gonna run up to the north end, but then I decided I was going to try to come over here to Atisco because it was only 13 minutes. And I was like, oh, I'll just run over to Atisco. And uh, Atisco, since it's blowing north to south, the launch is uh, really, really white cappy. And I was gonna fish the causeway there. And um, there's like three and a half foot rollers with white caps on them. And it was just real, real rough. And then the launch itself was actually full which is kind of part of the process, unfortunately. So it is what it is. Um, I'm gonna call it a day. I've got to work on my new garments because I know I wanna get the... Sorry about that, I had to put my seatbelt back on. I took it off to take the camera off my chest. Um, anyway, I do wanna get my garments. I need to get the graphs and the Active Captain, which is like Garmin's app that allows you to transfer waypoints and stuff. So I'm gonna go home and set that up. It was kind of a crummy day in terms of temperature. We were like 68 and it's overcasty. So it just wasn't the day I was looking for. Um, it is what it is. I did get that one fish. I got that top water bite, which I thought was interesting as well since the water temperature was 56. I really just expected them to still be spawning in the south end of, the, of Skinny, but they just weren't. Um, there were a few that were there, but just not what I expected. So it's all good. Next weekend's Memorial Day weekend. I've got five days off, I think, um, because I'm off on um, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So should be able to get some content done, hang out with the family, get some fishing done up here. I will be back at the campground. So uh, I guess that's the plan for the following weekend. I'm going to try to get these graphs working so that everything is... I've got all the mapping and whatnot and all the Navionics stuff. And uh, hopefully it'll be a good weekend. But thanks for watching, guys. If you can, hit that subscribe button down below. And um, Winston says goodbye. <laughs> he's already sleeping. He's had a long day. Five o'clock comes early for him when he's used to sleep until nine. <laughs> thanks, guys. Just roll that music.